Hey guys, Will here with Cray Studio, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a brand animation inside of Cray Studio Pro. All right, so let's take a look at what you're gonna be creating. So let's play this back, and we've got the brand text that flies in, and then it nicely animates out. All right, so let's take this back real quick from the beginning. So the brand text comes in, animates in, it scales down, and then we've got the build your own text that flies up, and then it all just animates out nicely and clean, right? All right, so let's go ahead and delete this, and let's start from scratch and get it started. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I wanna create a text file. So let's go ahead and go up here to our top left corner, click on text and create a text box. And once I got that text box created, what I'll do is I'll double click in here and let's go ahead and name it brand in all caps, okay? Once you got that done, let's go ahead and make sure that our text in our timeline that we just created is selected. And then we'll come over here to our font under settings and we're gonna change this and we're gonna find Anton. All right, you can choose any font you want. And again, if you wanna search for fonts, you can go here. You also have Google, and then you can add custom fonts that you download as well. All right, so I'm gonna go here and I'm looking for Anton's right at the top there. And there we go. All right, my next step, I'm gonna leave the weight regular and I'm gonna come down to my color though. And I'm gonna choose, uh, let's choose blue first, okay? So let's select blue and you can choose any color in the color wheel, choose the hue that you want. Um, I'm just gonna to try to match what we just saw. All right, so I got that done. Now I wanna change my scale. So let's go ahead and make my scale. I'm gonna large this or make this large by, let's go 700 and yeah, 700, that'll work. All right, so once I got that done, my next step is to start adding some animations to this, right? So I've scaled it up, um, I've changed the color, changed my font, and now I need to add some motion animations to this. All right, so with your brand text that you just created selected in your timeline, come over here to motion in the right corner and then on the in, you're gonna choose position and you're gonna do position right, okay? So when I play this back as is, you know, you got the brand that kind of flies in there and uh, we're gonna take it one step further. So we're gonna select our motion animation we just added with right here. And then we're gonna open up these advanced settings, right? And we're gonna change it to letter and forward. And then we're gonna change our letter offset. We're gonna make that about 54%. And then we're gonna change the X position, all right? So our X position is gonna be about, we're gonna go minus 10, okay? So we're also gonna check on the use fade. So make sure that down at the bottom, there's a use fade, just click that on so it turns blue. And then now, when I play this back, we get a nice transition animation in for the brand text. Pretty cool, right? All right, so now let's focus on the end animation, right? So kind of similar to what we did with the beginning, we're gonna adjust it so that the end has its own exit. So I'm gonna select the text again, come over here to motion and then select out. And we're also gonna choose position and it's also gonna be position right as well. All right, so just like before we played out, it just ends like that, but we want it to end the way this one kind of started. So I'm gonna select our ending uh, and motion animation on the right here. And then it's gonna pop up our advanced settings. So I'm gonna drop this menu down and I'm gonna choose a letter, keep it forward. Our letter offset's gonna be also 54%, okay? And our X position is gonna be 67%, okay? And then again, don't forget to click on the use fade. And so now when I play this back, it ends just like how the beginning started. All right, so looking pretty good so far. I like what's going on. So let's go ahead and now we need to create another brand text, but we need to change the color of it, right? So we don't have to recreate all this stuff again. The, the great thing that we can do is just duplicate it. So I'm gonna select our brand text that we just created and added animations to, and I'm gonna go ahead and click on duplicate right here in my timeline. All right, so with this duplicate I just created, I'm gonna come over here to our settings and change the color. And again, you can make it any different color you want. I'm gonna choose this kind of pink magenta-ish color that we got here. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on my timeline here a little bit. And I'm just gonna offset this a pink magenta-ish color just a little bit, right? So that way, if I press play when it comes in, it kind of has that nice little offset going on. It's looking pretty cool. Now that offset doesn't stay, so I need to adjust it so that uh, the blue kind of shows up behind a little bit so I can move the red one to the left a little, just so it kind of gives me that little, almost like a drop shadow effect, um, just so it stays, right? So now when I play this back, there we go. We've got that nice brand pop going on there, right? And then it ends nicely. Now I do wanna make sure that because I offset this uh, 
second duplicate a little bit that the end ends exactly when the first one does. So I just kind of line it up there. All right. So, so far, so good. We've got our brand text animations going on. So let's go ahead and group these two together. Okay. So I'm just going to select this first one and then hold shift and select my second one there. Now I'm going to right click on any one of them and then select group. And now I've created a master group file, right? So what I can do is then I can rename this group. Let's go to rename and we can call this our brand text. So this is our master group. If I want to make adjustments, I can double click in here, go back in, tweak my animations if I want to change the color maybe, um, and then go back. All right. So we've got the brand already done. So now let's start creating the text for the build your own. All right. So in a similar fashion, we're going to go over here and create a new text box. So go over to your top left corner, select text, and then double click in your text here. And then in all caps, type in uh, build your own, right? So build your own in all caps. And there we go. All right. So next I want to trim my build your own text. I just created and trim it down to the length of, so that's the same as the brand text there below it. All right. So now with your build your own text selected in your timeline, go ahead and go to your settings and then make sure if yours doesn't say Roboto um, or if it says a different font, you can always like, for example, say I still had it on Anton. You can go in here and search for any font that you want. Um, I do want to stick with Roboto. So I'll go back to it, search it and then select Roboto. All right. Next thing I'm going to leave the weight the same and I'm going to change my color and let's make that blue. Again, you can choose any, any hues here in the color spectrum that you want. But again, I'm just going to choose this blue color. All right. Next step is to adjust the spacing, right? So the distance between the letters of each other, right? So I'm going to go with spacing. I'm going to select and just choose, let's call it 191. That'll work. All right. And then I'm going to adjust my scale and let's make the scale 142. Okay. So far, so good. Now I want to go ahead and add some motion animations to this, right? So what I can do is select your build your own text, come over here to motion, and then we're going to go to in and then position. We're going to go with top. Okay. So we're going to keep tweaking a little more. If I play this back as is, it just kind of comes in there from the top there and let's go ahead and take it one step further. So select that, uh, top animation there, go to your advanced settings, change it to letter and then keep it forward. And then we're going to keep the letter offset at 50%, but we're going to change the Y and we're going to make that 7%. Okay. And then we're also going to click on our use fade. So make sure you do use fade. So now when I play this back, you got that nice little transition animation in for the build your own text, right? So now let's create an exit animation for that build your own text. So keep your build your own text selected, go over here back to motion, choose out, and we're going to keep it on position, but we're going to go with the bottom on this one. Okay. So turn on the bottom. So then as you can see, it drops down to the bottom when it exits, but we're going to take it one step further and tweak that animation. So select your bottom, come over here under advanced settings and change it back to letter. Keep it forward. We're going to keep it at 50%, but we're going to change the Y and that's going to be 32%. And then we are going to click on the use fade option there. All right. So now it will then nicely animate out like the rest of it did in the beginning. Okay. So our next step is to duplicate this and change the color. So we have two texts going on for the build your own. All right. So select your build your own text, come over here to your timeline and select duplicate. On that duplicate you just created, we're going to come over here to settings, go to color, and we're going to change it to white. All right. So now I'm going to keep that white duplicate selected and I'm just going to click it and move it to the left a little bit so that it shows that blue text behind it. All right. And then I'm just going to offset it just as such. So let me zoom in right here so you can kind of see, and I'm just going to move this to the right just a little bit. All right. So that way we, the way that the brand has that offset as it comes in, so will the build your own. Okay. So we've got that done. And then what I can do is I can then group these together, right? So I have a master group. So let's go ahead and if I select that first one, hold shift on my keyboard, select the second one, right click on any one of these two, select group. And now I have a master build your own group, right? So I can rename this group just to stay organized. I right click it, click rename, and let's just call it uh, build your own uh, text. All right. So looking pretty good. Now what happens is when the brand comes out, it actually scales down a little bit and then the build your own text flies up. Right. 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my brand text that we created earlier. And I'm gonna find when the, or with my cursor drag until I know when the animation comes to an end there, about right here. And then on my keyboard, I'm gonna press S for scale, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale down the brand just a little bit and then have the build your own text kind of fly in on top. All right, so with that first keyframe for scale that you got, select it, come over here to properties, and this is actually gonna stay at 100%, okay? So I'm gonna select my second scale keyframe, my endpoint, and then go back to properties in my right side of, of my program. And then I'm gonna, instead of it being 100, I'm gonna end it at 80%, all right? Because then we're scaling from 100, and it's gonna end on 80. So if I play this back as is, you'll see that it does this, goes down, and then the build your own comes up, right? So it looks pretty good. I like what it's doing so far. Um, and again, you can speed up the scale, right? So if you think it happens too, too slow, you can drag that keyframe in just a little bit more and then adjust your build your own text to come in right as it scales down. So now let's play that back and see what that looks like. There we go. Looking pretty good. And then it will end all together there. All right, so that's pretty cool. That's the, it's coming together nicely. Now what we can do is we can then go ahead and group both the uh, build your own text with the brand text, right? All together in one swoop, right? To have one master group. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's select our build your own text master group file and our brand text master group file, right? Hold shift on your keyboard to select that second track there. Right click on any one of them, select group, and then we can just rename this guy and call this um, our master brand group, right? Master brand, let's we'll call it that. Okay, so let's go ahead and play this back and let's go ahead and see what it is that we just created. All right, nice, we've got our brand that pops in there, the build your own text, and it nicely animates out across screen, just like we created, right? So it's a really cool way to create some really cool brand animations inside of Create Studio Pro, um, and it really can enhance your projects and make them better. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, take care of one more thing, all right? So let me click on this master brand. Now, for example, if I wanted to change the name of this for a different project, you're like, you know, I really like that that brand animation I created and I wanna use this in a future project. If I selected our master group right now, you'll see that there's four text files to change. So you'd have to change both brands that you created and both build your own text that you created, right? So to make this a little easier to where you only have to adjust one text file or two text files, right? Just the brand and then the build your own. And that is with your master brand selected here, your master group, go ahead and select this gear icon here and then just go ahead and do this process one more time, but you'll see all four files in here. Just select this brand so it links with this top one and then select this bottom build your own so that it links with this one. All right, so now when I click off, you'll see that I now have just two text files to change, right? So I could change the brand. Maybe I wanted to say um, company, right? And then on the second text file, I'll have it say name, right? So that's, that's how you can easily make adjustments. And again, you can utilize this for future projects. So for example, if, uh, let's take this back to, um, back to the original text here. All right. So say for example, I wanna utilize this for a future project, right? What I can do is I can uh, right click this master brand right here, and then I can go save to my scenes. All right. And then right here in your scenes on the left-hand side of the program, you open that up, you'll see that under my scenes, there is the master brand file that we created, right? So then I could open up a different project, different session, and I would go to my scenes and this will be there for me to use and drag into my canvas and apply it to any project that I have, right? Change a name, change a different text, make it match whatever project I'm working on. All right, you could even go so far as to add a category, right? So if I add a category here, we'll call this um, brand titles, right? And just to stay even more organized, I could then right click on this master brand, move to brand titles, and then select brand titles and bam, I can have a whole list of uh, from scratch created brand titles that I create for myself that I can utilize for future projects. All right, so just another quick tip built inside of this tutorial inside of itself. But again, this is how you can create a really cool brand animation inside of Create Studio Pro. Hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of here. Can't wait to see what y'all create and I'll catch y'all in the next tutorial.